All right, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Tuesday morning, we headed over here to this tree job. Uh, I got uh, I got Chucky. I got the man lips already over there, so uh, we're we're pretty uh, set. It's eight thirty. It's real cold though, so I I told him I'd be over there around nine nine fifteen or so. Uh, so yeah, uh, Bo's here at the store. Uh, he's gonna help me you know over there today anyway but you can't give him a bunch of money man if i make fifteen hundred dollars and and i would and, and i give bo what i would give somebody else i'm not gonna do that man i don't, i'm just not, not gonna want him to work that long because i need him tomorrow and the next day so uh he's gonna end up getting about twenty dollars today and twenty dollars tomorrow and he just got ten of it this morning because no matter how much money he has he ain't got never got no money in the morning of course this morning it was uh, oh man, I lost my money, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just lame as hell. Uh, but I gotta get some ethanol free fuel and uh, then we're off to the races, man. I'm gonna try to get as much good footage as I can. Um, I will say this, this job is sketchy uh, and uh, I'm a little bit nervous about it. I mean, well, if I have somebody that could run the skid steer you know, then I wouldn't be nearly as nervous. But you can't put Bo in the skid steer for nothing. But Bo can't think. Uh, if I had somebody like Francisco out here, uh, or maybe even if I had Zach out here, I'd feel a little bit better. I'd still be nervous, though, uh, because of uh, everything. But I put myself in the best scenario to win. So I got a pole saw. I got a 201T saw. Uh, and I got the Milwaukee battery power saw with two extensions So uh, I'm hoping that I can compromise the tree enough to where we can pull it down uh, but It's gonna be a lot of time Getting up and down out of the lift and stuff because Bo can't run the The skid steer and he don't know how to tie a knot. He don't know how to do nothing, but you know just menial labor stuff uh, So it's, it's gonna be a stressful day for me, and I'm gonna have to work pretty hard uh, but today the goal is is just to get the tree down fifteen hundred dollars get the tree down so let's get that tree down get it to the woods uh and then uh that's that's the goal for today however long that takes i don't know uh but i'm gonna be super slow and super methodical about everything uh overkill if you will so uh but if you don't get a little bit nervous fooling with stuff like this uh then well, you're telling a lie, right? Okay, y'all. So y'all see, I don't know. I'm going to put y'all on the other side of the sun. Uh, so y'all see, this is the tree. Uh, in this case, it's not going to be an easy tree to get for sure. Going to have to see this. I mean, it's really high. So uh, this is right outside. See, and I'm not. I'm probably not even in the right place to get. This golf cart needs to move out of the way, man. So I'm gonna go up in here and uh, this one limb right here, Bo, you could go and cut it, man. Right here. All right, I'm gonna put y'all on time after something, man. I've got, I got a lot of it, probably, a, I don't know, a third of it. Uh, and some of the more sketchy stuff. But I got to move the lift because I can't get these branches right here. These big ones right here that I, that I could cut short. I can't get them with the machine right there. One branch came down and hit the plastic thing on there. I don't know how much damage it did, but. I need to move the machine that way some to where I can go up 
and get some of these uh, branches because once I get that top right, that top piece right there, those three, then the rest of it's easy, easy peasy. Even though there's not room to really, you know, pull. But I tell y'all, man, uh, fooling with that damn that two extension, <clears throat> that two extension pole saw, boy, that's some work right there. I said work. Uh, let's see what kind of damage I did to the damn. Thing. Yeah. Oh, we'll just pop that out. Yeah. Not a problem there. Nope. Yeah. Y'all see it? That little dent. I'm going to pop that out, man. Let me take it off. All right, y'all. So, uh, y'all see, I got well, we got uh a pretty good bit of but i had to move the lift and that's the thing about having one of these lifts that don't have an engine you got to constantly be moving it so what we're going to do now is i'm going to go up and i'm going to cut everything that makes sense and then i'm going to put a rope up on that branch right there and i'm gonna, and i'm going to cut me just a little bitty line in it then i'm going to come down i'm going to have to have uh, bo's going to have to get the rope all straightened out when i get up in the lift so that's what we're going to do man uh yeah i'm gonna put y'all somewhere on time lapse y'all there it is it's gone it's gone
job today, man. You're welcome. Good job. Alright, y'all. So y'all see that what, what we got done, we got that tree down. 1500 bucks, man. You know. That's alright. Uh it's two o'clock right now, so yeah, man. He was really happy with it too. And we got it all cleaned up. Uh so yeah, and the bottom of that tree I cut with my 20 inch bar uh, on my, uh, well not my big saw, but my medium saw. And I probably would have had to use the bigger saw had it not been poplar wood. Poplar is soft, man. It, it's not hard on a saw at all. If that had been a freaking oak tree or a walnut tree or something, then that would have been a major deal, you know. So... I'm stoked to get it down. So uh, they were and, the, and they were really happy. Now they want me to run the brush cutter, the new attachment I just got. They're wanting to go in the woods and just raise hell with it. So I like it, man. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, tomorrow we'll do a, a little bit of strategic, strategic tree trimming, you know. Uh, but I don't even think we're gonna need the man lift. Uh, but well, it's still there. I, I'm gonna leave it over there one more night, uh, and just in case. But I don't see us needing it, really. Uh, but yeah, and Bo, Bo did pretty good. You know, Bo don't know nothing, man. He can't remember anything. Uh, so on a job like that, it's not. He's not the best guy to have out there. So. Yeah. But tomorrow uh, and the next day, uh, they're going to be easy over there, right? So uh, I'm going to end up making about five grand over there. Well, we're going to end up grossing about five grand over there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful and grateful uh, to get that thing down, man, because that was, uh, well, That was pretty sketchy, man, to be honest. Uh, it was, so. Anytime you can get a tree on the ground and nothing breaks and nobody gets hurt and you don't hit nothing, that's a successful tree job. Oh, and you got paid too? Oh, yeah. So. But I think $1,500, man, to get that tree down is a pretty good deal, man. You know, uh, well, it is for me considering I got a man lift and considering uh, I, I, I only live like a mile and a half from there. So, I think everything else we'll be able to get without the man lift. The man lift is a great tool, don't get me wrong, but the man lift, it takes time. It's, it's more of a surgical type you know, take down than, uh, than anything else because you have to keep moving it around. I mean, I had I moved it probably seven or eight times today uh, just going around that big tree trying to make sure that nothing hits the lift. So, but tomorrow, oh, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong tomorrow. For real, real. And the Milwaukee pole saw, it did great, man. Uh, I put two extensions on it, man, and had uh, and I didn't even go through a whole battery. Two three-foot extensions on there, plus the the regular pole saw. Yeah, I I, I know I'm gonna be sore as hell tomorrow, man. But my expenses are real low, man. That's how I make good money, man. Well, man, I want to charge three thousand dollars to take that tree down. Well, you wouldn't have got the job if you'd have tried if you'd have done that. See, I look at what it's going to cost me. And it ain't cost me nothing because why is that? Because I own the man lift. You know, people say, you know, you know got a lift that just sits there all the time. But I, but it's, it's on standby all the time, too. All right, y'all. Deuces.